it was a great day for our quarterback now. Uh, he threw for 466, a school record. It, it, you know, he's putting up arena league numbers. If, if we had quarterback ratings, I think he'd lead the world in quarterback ratings. I mean, he was he was just sensational. I thought our team fought hard. You know, our defense were, were you know, Ben but didn't break. They, uh, they created turnovers, and I thought that was the key also. And in the end of the day, we finally ran the ball well. We're starting to balance this thing out a little bit better offensively, and we're running and throwing it around a little bit, and, you know, we, we did well today against a good opponent. I'm happy. I'm, more, I was, I'm not really surprised that, that Griff couldn't do it, but I'm, but I'm happy for him because he worked so hard. You know, he's coming off an injury that, you know, could have sidelined him for the year, and his courage to come back and to throw it and, you know, and to control the game. He controlled the game perfectly, just like we talked about. So, I mean, he is, I'm just so proud of him. To sleep this week, because last week I didn't sleep again, you know, but, but, but you're absolutely right, man. It was, it was, it was hard sledding, you know, it was uphill most of this, most of this year, and now we're starting to at least relax and we're starting to play better football. Well, one thing about the defense now, you know, we, we have a lot of guys out right now. You know, a lot of guys, you know, hadn't practiced all week and we're just coming in. But but I'm proud to see those freshmen, especially those young kids, are making plays. Again, Doris had two interceptions. Monroe, a bunch of tackles again. John Baptiste covering up well. And then, so those guys are young and they're playing. Royce played well. Calvin played well. A lot of young red wine. All those young guys are getting some experience. You know, these guys will be here the next three years. Oh, I think UAB has, I think, I think they have a real good team. That, that back now, you're going to see that number five. He's going to be playing playing on Sunday. They have a really, really good team. They score points on everybody they've played. You look at it, and, I, and you know, I just I just think they they physical. I mean, they play well. They play hard. It's just we got these turnovers, and that was the difference in the game. You know, it just feels good just because all the hard work you put in with these guys um, over the years and over the summer and in the fall and, you know, by yourself on the weekends and stuff like that. Um, you know, it's really a testament to all that hard work. So it's kind of something you could say, hey, look, we did this. Um, you know, it's not just a me thing. This was a group effort. The O line did a great job. I don't think I got sacked. I don't think I got hit in the first half. Um, you know, everyone was doing a good job. Everyone knew the hand signals. Everyone was communicating. The backs did a great job. The receivers caught the balls. I mean, it was just a, a, a great group performance. Um, and it's just something that, you know, you can point to and, and look at and say, hey, we did that. I mean, I know we've had the potential. I mean, we got guys that can play. That's not, that's not been the issue. Um, you know, we got playmakers, and that, that really proved itself today. Um, I thought we did get a lot better in those four weeks I was out, three weeks, four weeks. I thought we improved tremendously and, and we gained a lot of experience. And uh, and so I kind of got to come in at a time where guys were really starting to move up on their slope and on their progress and uh, their potential. And so it was just, just was a good time. Kind of like to give the uh, sidelines a little heart attack every every time by taking it down to the last second. I know they don't like that, but I, I usually have her in control. Um, but you know it's it's great because I'm able to make a check, and then the defense will make a check, and then I can make a check off their check, and there's still 20 seconds on the clock. And so it's it's a uh, it's really a great tool that we we're able to utilize this game and last game and the game before that. So having that mindset is kind of a problem, especially in this conference, just because we I know teams are going to score, and so you can't get satisfied with 31 points in the first half. You know we should have 45, and that's a lot, but. This is Conference USA, and you know that you got to put up points. And so um, that's kind of where you, teams get in trouble is they go, oh, okay, Oof, you know, we scored 31. We can relax now. No, you guys still got to keep the pedal press down. You got to be greedy. You got to be real greedy in this conference. And, um, you know, that's what we did today. We just kept pressing it down, pressing it down, and kept scoring because, I mean, you see, the, I mean, no one's going to quit, and teams put up points in a hurry. So, you know, you can't. You can't just be satisfied with the amount, the amount of points you have. Man, Lorenzo is a hell of a player, man. Uh, at the hotel, he said, man, I feel, I feel like I'm going to get a turnover this week. I might get two. I might get three. We thought he was playing, but he ended up with two picks. And it, that was so important. It was so important to the game because we gave our offensive ball, who was doing so good this week. Offense, I, I give it to Ryan. Ryan, I think he broke the record this week. And my, uh, my top is off to him. Oh yeah, the, the intercepts felt good. Um, I I had to thank Jordan Baptiste on the first one because he made a great play on the ball, and he when he he jumped the route and it, it it hit off his shoulder pads. And once that ball was in the air, I, I knew it was mine. So I had to I grabbed it and had to just go with it. The second one, um, I just I just jumped the route. Um, I seen I seen it the whole time coming. Just caught in. I, I don't think I was out of bounds. Yeah, I was going to ask you that. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. I think I think um, I stayed in bounds. I tight roped him. Felt great, you know. Uh, 
the O line's been improving day by day, and I think y'all are seeing that. Um, and I give 100% credit to them. Uh, they were able to open up holes for all of us, and I think y'all saw the results of that. Uh, to not be in the end zone the whole season, you know, it's just kind of frustrating. Even for all the backs, we haven't had any rushing touchdowns, so, uh, you know, uh, you can ask Coach CJ who called that up, actually. So We uh, we were running no huddle, and uh, Griff, he gave, uh, gave me the signal, gave us the play, and um, the way the play works, I saw I saw where I was supposed to go. I saw it was going to be open for, before we even hiked the ball. I just fo focused on the ball, told myself to catch it, photo, and score. And it was just a good play call by Griff and the coaches. That's because, you know, it always is when your quarterback breaks right because you're, you're part of history with him. And I just, I just, I'm happy for Griff because he's been working hard. He's been dedicated. Uh, he, he gets on us. Uh, we get on him. We, it's just one big family. I'm, I'm happy for him. I felt like I was due for a big game. You know, I come out every week to play hard, to make plays. And when the ball come my way, I, I want to catch the ball and make plays. But this week, with, with Justin out, and you know, with injuries, injuries in our uh, on our team, I just felt like that I had I had to had to come up big today for Griff and the team.